so it's kind of it kind of has a long axis and it's kind of oriented front to back right now, so it looks kind of smaller. But if I have you just look down for a moment and then back to the light there again, back at the light, and that there we go. That kind of brings it back into position there. Let's do that again. Look down and back to light there again. Kind of long and stringy, isn't it? Okay, so the laser, like I said, makes a little quicky snappy sound like that. And we'll get that thing to dance around a little bit. Closer again, look down again, back to light here. It kind of whips it right forward again. So the laser will tend to push it back a little bit, just for the energy. Can't see why that was bugging ya. Because the vitreous is kind of liquefied enough that thing is just whipping around. Do that again, look down. Back to light here. Hmm. At least it appears to cooperate with its own demise. Do that again, look down. Back to light here. <clears throat> you ever see those little gas bubbles? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a little light show for you. Huh? That's pretty cool. Okay, again, look down. Back to light here again. It comes up front and center, but boy, very quickly it starts to move backwards. So I'm trying to knock in, and I lose. 
comes and the energy kind of drops off as you as you follow it from the back. It's just you know you have a long eyeball being as nearsighted as you are. Put it to back as well. Just the energy drops quite a bit. This is where you get to take uh, advantage of my OCD tendencies when it comes to floaters. I, just, <laughs> I don't like leaving stuff behind. I Let's really get it like, all. That's how I am. That's exactly this is actually kind of cool for me. I yeah. thought it, this would be unpleasant. It's, it's, it's interesting. Again, look down, this time way up high, back down again, back to later. Uh, looks like player two has entered the game here. Mm -hmm. Actually, another little extraneous bit of. It's a little bit more diffuse, not quite as dense as the first one. It was kind of hanging down below there, so kind of that whipped that up into place. There's a little knock that down a bit. Doing okay? Yeah. It's not so bad, is it? No, it's not bad at all. I 
this, you kind of hunting for the loose guys now? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now I just kind of like uh, hunt and peck, hunt and nice. peck, hunt and peck. Yeah, just kind of scan and then something will pop into view and I'll go away and come back and like, oh, where did that come from? And that's just always a little bit more. You know, when there's been a, a poster of interest detachment, there is, you know, in your case, you know, this variant of the Weiss ring, but there's also that sort of plasticky sheet that peels off, and you can have some areas of that that can be a little uh, you know, hazy, a little thick end, you know, like it's like trying to look through crinkled, you know, food wrap or something. Yeah, like yeah. That. It's just not perfectly clear. So they are all part of the same process, uh, that membrane, you know, pulling off and away. Um, sometimes the entire membrane will be really cloudy and hazy, and boy, those are almost impossible to treat entirely. But you had, you had a couple of little crinkly, uh, you know, areas that are worth trying to pick off and kind cool. of clean up a little further there. So even though you had the main thing, uh, let's do it. Yeah, I'd like to clean it, clean it up there. What are the two little red lights I see? Oh, those are my focusing beams. So oh, cool. I mentioned, I, I mentioned the, uh, the laser energy has this kind of cone shape to them, but along the top and the bottom of that, of that cone is, are these red focusing beams. Oh, yeah, yeah. And when those two red beams are right on top of each other, that tells me where that cone uh, is focused. Oh, cool. Because the, the laser energy itself is invisible, so I need those, those to confirm my, my uh, focal, focal point. And I don't know if I mentioned or maybe not have emphasized it, you know, that vitreous detachment is by definition a one-time event, and the Weiss ring variant floater is by definition a one-time event. So if you take care of it definitively, uh, you don't have more of them waiting in the wings. So it's not like, oh, cool. you know, it's not like the beginning of a, you know, a downward spiral of, of vitreous. I mean, you have other areas of vitreous that over time and with age, you know, could also kind of clump up and, 
and, uh, and aggregated form, but um, I, I find that things are usually at their worst after that bridge's detachment, and if you take care of that floater definitively, things will generally kind of stabilize and be pretty good. Cool. Hey, well, I'm fact, doing fine. So good. Don't, in fact, that's, that's the best way to bring the floaters out is to actually say out loud, well, I think we're done now. Yeah. And then some <laughs> big blob will come out of somewhere. I'm like, oh, seriously? You thought it was safe to come out and play? Um, but actually, it does look very good here. Violent Femmes sang back in the 1980s, Gone Daddy Gone. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, you can sit back.